Hey guys, sup? Scottish Duck here once again. Right, collection update time. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, yeah, uh, it's an okay pile the day, you know. So we'll see what we got, eh? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to start these things. Let's just jump right in. Okay, first of all, guys, do you ever, in our sort of like modern society, Okay, where, you know, you always want to get, like, the best smartphone or something. Sometimes you just wake up and you're like, I'm going to buy a new phone today. Does anybody ever get that feeling? Or maybe not even just a phone, just something. Just something that you just don't need, but you want to get it anyway. Yeah, I bought a... I bought a Nintendo Switch uh, OLED. You came what it was, T. You came what prompted this, right? My, like, Switch has been dying slowly, okay? The dock died, so I had to, like, go on eBay and buy another fucking new one of those. And then my left Joy-Con started to drift, okay? And I was just like, Nintendo, you are fucking... You used to be kings at, like, this shit. Why is your hardware so terrible now? Um, but yeah, I was playing a couple of games that will be shown off a little later. And uh, I, I kind of thought to myself, fuck, I'm going to have to go buy some new Joy-Cons. I'll tell you why I buy new Joy-Cons. I feel like I'm giving in. So in my brain, somehow buying a whole new fucking console was less, like, was more, kept my integrity more intact than buying, like, an extra Joy-Con. So, yeah, I, I got this now. It's very nice. It's uh, definitely very nice. The screen is really nice. Uh, it, feels, it does feel a little bit more well-built. I like the sort of finish to the plastic on the back of the console now, so it feels a lot more better in like a handheld mode. So, yeah, not the worst purchase I've made, I suppose, but definitely unnecessary. You know, this is like, this just, I just look at this and like, this is just proof that I live in a first world country, eh? You know? Uh, so, yeah, Nintendo Switch OLED, GG, GG. Okay, now I might as well show these off right now because there was two uh, Nintendo Switch RPGs that came out this week that I decided to go into. The first one is this right here. Live Alive, or Live Alive, whatever the fuck. The remake of a Super Nintendo RPG from back in the day that I never got to play, never came out of Japan. There was probably like a fan translation somewhere, but I saw that and you know, I'm all for this like, you know remakes of old games that probably need it shit, so I definitely want to pick it up. Um, I really like the 2D HD thing, or is it HD 2D that Square's calling it? I don't know. You know, Octopath Traveler, that was one of my favorite games uh, for the for the Switch. I adore that game. Didn't play Project Triangle. Uh, I was, I've not got around to that one just yet. But uh, yeah, this one's I'm actually not sure about this one. I've got, so you've got like seven scenarios that you have to play through and they're like seven, like, I don't know, mini games or something. And yeah, I'm just like, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's very unconventional for a JRPG to say the least, you know? So I don't know what I'm making of it just yet. I'm trying to be like open, you know, I'm definitely enjoying it enough to keep going on, but we'll, we'll see how we got on with that. But yeah, live alive. And the other one, still in its cellophane. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. For those of you that don't know, okay, big Xenoblade fan. Big, big Xenoblade fan. That first game, just perfection, you know? Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U, okay? Great game, great game. Not as good, but great, okay? Needs to come with the Switch. What the fuck, Monolith? And uh, even like that uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition that came out like a... Uh, uh, I think it was, 20, it was 2020, yeah. Uh, that was like, expand on the story of the first game. I loved that shit! That shit was amazing, I thought. But Xenoblade Chronicles 2 hurt me so but I was so burned by Xenoblade Chronicles 2, guys, okay? I could sit here and rant for hours, okay? And I have, like, on my stream and stuff, <laughs> whenever people fucking ask me about it. I'll not do it here, but yeah, suffice to say, it's a series that I'm not gonna not buy for, but at the same time, I'm just like, please, it, it's, please be more like the first game than the second game, that's all I'm gonna say, alright? But I don't know what to make just yet, I haven't popped it in yet. I wanna finish um, Live Alive first and then I'll go into this, but... <sighs> I'm nervous, I'm nervous about popping this in, not gonna lie. So we'll see how that comes, eh? See how that goes. Okay, next up I have... Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, and Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I was kind of looking up some past, like, Tony Hawk games, you know? Like, I was, I'm was, i quite a decent fan of uh, Tony Hawk, not gonna lie. The only two games in the series that I've really, like, sat down and adored, though, was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 and Tony Hawk's Underground, okay? 
In fact, I remember I picked up Underground 2, like, as soon as it came out, because I loved Underground 1 so much, and it was definitely, like, goofier. Like, this was kind of, in my opinion, where the series did start to dwindle, you know. American Wasteland came out, like, the year after that, and I thought that was a bit better than this, but, yeah, Tony Hawk was, like, past its heyday, um, you know, after the first Tony Hawk Underground, in my opinion. Um, but, as for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, never played this, and... Might sound a bit petty, but I know that Tony Hawk's 1, 2, and 3 have that whole, like, okay, you go into a level and you have to do what you can in, like, two minutes, you know? Whereas Tony Hawk's 4, that started the whole, like, okay, there is no time limit, just explore the level to your heart's desire. And I liked that. I liked that more, you know? So it's going to be weird to, like, go back to this. Never pop this in. Never pop this in once. But, uh, yeah, Tony Hawk is Tony Hawk's a series overall. I'm, I'm into that. I have still not played the uh, HD remake of 1 and 2, which is apparently, like, really good, though. Uh, I'll have to get around to that eventually. Um, but anyway, next up... <laughs> Klonoa. Klonoa Fantasy Rever Reverie series. I have to keep, like, looking at it, remembering what the fuck they called it. But yeah, I got this on the PS4. I think this is my plan going forward, guys. When these games come out, I'll... Pick up them. Th I'll pick them up physically on like the PS4 because obviously they come with like a PS5 uh, upgrade that you can download. Uh, it's like uh, ever since I got like the Xbox Series X and all that, I've been struggling to like try and figure out like what console do I start buying for? What version? What's gonna have the best version? All that bollocks, you know. Uh, definitely not the Switch. Don't play this on the Switch. It's not a very good port. But I am. I've still not finished it. I only. I went right to Klonoa 2 because it's been a long time since I played Klonoa 2. I've played. I've had the opportunity to play Klonoa 1 multiple times for like PS1 emulation or mucking about on that Wii remake and stuff. But you know, Klonoa 2 has always been just like locked to the PS2. So it's really nice that we got this. Uh, you know, both both one and two, and that Klonoa is kind of like uh, being given another chance and all that shit. So yeah, definitely recommend, guys. This is this is good. I like this Klonoa. Uh, next, I have Persona 5S, the PS4 version, still in its cellophane. Um, never, I did, I picked this up on PC when it came out, because, you know, I'm a decent fan of Persona. I quite like Persona 5. Still not played Royal, but, yeah, this was, like, the sequel to Vanilla P5 and not P5 Royal, which is, like, confusing, but, yeah, this was, um, it's a great game. I feel like, doesn't really feel like a Musou or a Dynasty Warriors game at all. It's like a hack and slash Persona game. It fulfills that really well, honestly, so... Aye. Um, fantastic game. I heard, like, this uh, version is really good, too. You can pop it in the PS5 and get, like, 10, uh, 1440p, all that shit. So, yeah. No bad. No bad. And uh, the last uh, game I've got here is uh, Our Worlds for the Xbox. Funny story. I was talking to my wee brother. My wee brother does not play games, like, pretty much at all, but... A few years ago there, he got, like, really into, uh, Fallout 4. Like, I think a friend just gave him it, and he just started it, and he got, like, obsessed with it. It was... I've never seen him, like, play a game like that, ever, you know? And, uh, the other night there, he was asking me about, like, uh, what's say Starfield, Donald, you know? And I'm just like, oof, Stuart's... Stuart's talking to me about Starfield, what the fuck? And, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm saying, aye, aye, that'll be... That's, like, Fallout in space, it's maybe next year, but you should play, like, uh, The Outer Worlds if you like that game. And he was like, eh, you know, wasn't really that fussed. So I bought this with the intention of giving it to him, you know? But then I thought to myself, actually, isn't there a big Xbox sale on right now? So I checked the Xbox, and sure enough, it was, like, 75% off, and I was just like, oh, shit. It's actually way more convenient if I just send them it digitally and just, you know, keep this physical copy for myself, you know, since I'll, I'm more into this shit, aren't I? So, I got a physical copy of uh, Art Worlds there. Uh, I did play this game a little bit when it came out. It came out right away on Game Pass. I played the PC version. Uh, it was alright. I'm, I'm not really into the Bethesda. It's not Bethesda, I know, but I'm not really into those. I'm not big fan of the Western RPG style, okay? Not saying I don't like... I, there's, I can't get the words out. I'm a massive weeb. There we go. I'm a massive weeb, so anything made by Bioware or Bethesda is shit. Not really. This is quite good. Although, this was made by Obsidian, wasn't it? Whatever, whatever. I got this game. There you go. Alright. That's that, guys. Alright, so. See you after. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.